Here we go, episode 6. Give it up for episode 6. To tell you the truth, I'm kind of running out of things to say about old Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, I read in the news that we're supposed to get the, the trailer for the, the Sonic movie later today at the time of recording. That, that might be a little outdated by the time this episode gets posted, but anyway, yeah, the second Sonic movie. I, I don't uh, think I'm going to see it. I didn't want to see it the first time, but YouTube people talked me into it. I just got bombarded with all these thumbnails about the Sonic movie is actually good. And then I saw it, and it's it's basically just your standard kids movie. It's basically just Hop, except they turned him blue. It's not good at all. YouTube lied to me. So anyway, uh, I'm not going to see the second one. Maybe if it comes out on some streaming service someday. I'm not deliberately trying to land in those spikes. I was trying to get to the, the area in the back, but... Oh well, that's for people with talent. Sonic Colors talent, no less. That, that, that mechanic works very strangely. I, I don't think I did that right. But it's okay. Life goes on. The sun's still gonna come up tomorrow. Yeah, look at that. I get the special thingy. What do those do, by the way? I've never been able to collect all of them in a single level, so I don't... I don't rightly know. Maybe, maybe one of you enlightened YouTube commenters can fill me in on that. You know how much I look forward to being told what to do by people on the internet. Gosh, you ever, like, actually, like, try to dissect a social media post and you... You realize that maybe like 60% of the people in the comments don't even understand what the point of the post is. Like I saw this thing the other day, it was a... Um, there was, unfortunately, there was a kid that died. And they had like a special Fortnite coffin for him. So somebody posted the picture of it to Twitter and it just said, Fortnite coffin. It feels like the people in the comments, like I said, don't really understand what the point of this post is. They're just arguing about, Some people say that Fortnite is cringe, but I say that it's not cringe. And that, that, that is not, that has very little to do with what's being said. I feel like they need to put some kind of barrier on, like, the ability to make new posts on social media where there's like a brief like quiz you have to take first that that makes sure you actually understand what's going on before you you jump in. Yeah, aesthetically this one looks pretty nice, huh? We got that same uh, culling rainbow road. You, you saw it there in the back. And this part's cool, they've got a, a trampoline that moves. Regardless of what you do, you gotta keep up with it. As Homer Simpson once famously said, Trampampoline! Trampampoline! That was, uh, that was from Golden Age Simpsons. <sighs> Good times. Gosh, I, I'm still stuck on that, that Fortnite coffin thing. I mean, how stupid do you have to be to look at something as horrible as that and, and misinterpret it as like a, a statement on the quality of, of a video game? Yep, you got it, buddy. This picture of a coffin is definitely oh, an abstract way of saying that they think the game is cringe. You got it. You have correctly identified the situation. Congratulations. I really need to just take a long break from social media. This is getting to be quite draining. So anywho, let's try to stay on task here. So the big complaint about this level is that you really can't go any faster than the trampoline goes. I mean, obviously just by looking at it, there's no way to exceed its speed because otherwise you would plummet to your doom, as it were. And so for speedrunners and people trying to get an S rank, that can be 
quite frustrating because you're being anchored down by a slow moving object. For those of you uh, comparing how this run went to uh, a certain other channel's run, I think it's become quite obvious that this Let's Play is haunted. It's haunted by the ghost of Chugga Conroy. Ooh. I don't know, I just run out of stuff to say, so I start looking at other Let's Plays and trying to figure out what did they do for this part. It helps to fill the void. So, uh, I might regret... Uh, okay, I was going to say I might regret going back for that one up, but then... Uh, then it was all right in the end. So you can... Fuck. Yeah, you can fuck. But anyway, you can bounce slightly higher by doing the ground smash on the trampoline, but my stupid and ignorant ass just simply did not know that that was an option during this segment. And I would imagine that was very... F that's going to be very frustrating for anybody who's still watching this. Ugh, ma'am, he's not playing the game right. I want my binky. <laughs> uh, let's play fans are horrible people, like I'm always saying. Yep, yep, baroni. Okay, this run's going a bit better. Sonic seems to naturally get pushed back towards the edge as this thing moves. He doesn't move with the trampoline when it's going horizontal. Let's see if I can get that. Nope. Nope, Dad Avi. How are we gonna get our cool uh, avatars for our Sonic Colors profile now if we can't collect the sun tokens? Okay, let's just cut ahead for the sake of having a watchable episode. I'm sure you'll appreciate that. Well edited content. Where do you think Sega got the, the noise, or the sound effect rather, for the sonic trampolines? Well, this is going to be a tight jump. Yeah. Anyway, where do you think they got that sound effect? I mean, I think it originated in the Dreamcast era, so it's not like something they just got off like a, a pre-made setting on a MIDI keyboard or anything like that. Not something from the, the Sega Genesis Gems sound font. Yeah, that ain't exactly entry-level knowledge, is it? The gems sound fine. Yeah, I'm not overly surprised that we uh, got a D rank on that one. Ever see that episode of Johnny Bravo where there was like a big muscly dude who just had like a, a letter D that he handed to a girl in an episode once? And ha 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 ha, top ten innuendos and cartoons. Ha 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 ha. Ah, oh, Lord Jesus. So, this is going to be an extremely out-of-date thing by the time this episode gets posted. When my lazy ass finally gets done recording this. But anyway, there's been a, a recent announcement in uh, Smelly Gamer News. It's uh, Sony is going to try to have a, a competitor to Game Pass. And they're going to put all their retro titles in there and... And honestly, I don't know if I would buy into something like that. I mean, for anybody who knows how to use a computer, that there's really no reason to, to pay money for PS1 and PS2 stuff. I mean, if you're just a total fucking idiot like Scott the Wise and you're using Dolphin with a keyboard, then in that case, yeah, I would understand why you'd want to pay money for something like that. But for the rest of us, I don't really think that proposition has any value. The only new thing that this service could offer would be PS3 games, because, you know, there really isn't a good way to play PS3 games as it is. Pretty much all of Sony's stuff is covered except for that. And even then, because the PS3 had such fucky hardware, it's, uh, they're going to have to stream the games to your console, so you're going to try to play PS3 games over your shitty 56k modem. <coughs> Uh, I was trying to do the dial-up modem. Anyway, so yeah, I mean, obviously PS4 and PS5 games are already available. And the system normally really doesn't seem to offer anything that you can't already get elsewhere. 
It's a very low value preposition. It's not for me. So anyway, these dodecahedrons that are spitting out the, the green goo on us uh, kind of reminds me of the, the bin's brine from Space Harrier. Yeah, that that is some hardcore knowledge right there. I know about all the retro gaming uh, trivia. I know that the those enemies from Space Harrier were called the bin's brines. All you frickin' Let's Play Soy Boys have no idea what he's ta what I'm talking about. When's he gonna play Minecraft? I don't know nothing about no bins binds. Oh, this is a waste of my talent. Next up, we're going to the Mike Wazowski level. You saw him there. Mike Wazowski. Okay, I got enough footage for three more episodes of Sonic Colors and then... Uh, We'll just call it from there. Hopefully it doesn't take me the rest of 2021 to get to that point, but we'll see.